What's up everybody, Blue Gabe. We're off of Jupiter, Florida. I'm gonna go down and catch my limited lobster, hopefully shoot some lionfish, and when I come up, we're gonna run in shore a little bit and show y'all some of the biggest fish you've ever seen. Y'all stay tuned. So now a ton of y'all question me on why I dive alone. I'm 39 years old and I've been doing it my whole life. Well, since I've been old enough to tank dive, which was probably 13, I just feel more comfortable that way. I don't have to worry about anybody else and I know nobody else has to worry about me. I don't recommend it for everybody, but it's what I do. If I get down there and get in trouble, I will hit the abort button quick. Get rid of this tank and swim up and hopefully not get the bends. But to answer all y'all's question, I wasn't missing a dive buddy that day. I was just missing gloves. Yep. All right, we see y'all on the bottom. Guaranteed we're making lionfish ceviche tonight. Now Nick's gonna go down. Nick's behind the camera. Hopefully he gets his. I got one more dive, so we'll see. You can't get them all every time. All right, y'all, Nick's out from his first dive, but as y'all can see, there's a huge storm coming in from the southwest. Instead of me doing my second dive and risking it, 
we got a mess of lionfish, one nice lobster. We're headed our butts in. As soon as I get him in this boat, we're going inward. You need a ride? Got a couple of nice bugs. Good. That neck's been worried about it. <laughs> oh, look at that giant. Hey, that'll do. We got dinner. <laughs> All right, guys, we're headed to the dock. Nick, anytime you guys are out on the boat and you see a storm coming, the time to make the decision is right then. You wait too late till that storm's on you, you've made the wrong decision because sometimes it can get bad and it's cost people their life a many a time. All right, y'all, we're back at the house. We're gonna make lionfish and lobster ceviche. I'm gonna show y'all how to clean them. Always be safe and do not get spined. Come in here like that. You'll always, when you see me clean a lionfish, you'll always see my, me put my finger right there. I lift that flay up. Come just like that, get right on the backbone. Make sure you get through the pin bones. That easy. All right, so these side fins right here can get you too. You gotta stay away from them. So I'll hold them out of the way with my fingers like this, and then come in for the cut. If you want, you can just, just like that. Then your fingers are never in harm's way done these smaller ones like this you see how when they die their fins are stuck straight up that can be super dangerous so I'll come in here like this one swipe and if you want to you can just take the skin off in one chunk too done Flip it over. Now that's not a very big filet, but we're making ceviche. I don't need a very big filet. All right, so a bunch of y'all had commented on my lobster video and said, why don't you save the heads for soup? I do sometimes, but these heads take up a lot of room in my freezer. If I'm not gonna make a soup here in the next day or two, I just discard of it. There is not that much meat in these lobsters head. So I'll only keep the tail. Right now I'm only gonna keep the tail, but I'll take my knife and stick it up in there and cut him all the way around, just like that. And I get most of that meat when I do that. So that's the answer to y'all's question on why I don't keep the head. I just don't on all of them. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. All right, so I'm gonna take this tail and all this clean meat and go in the kitchen. Okie doke, so we're in the kitchen. I got the lobster tail. Now I want to cut this up in real fine pieces, so I'm going to take it, put it in that boiling water for just a second, then it'll be easy to pull out of the shell. So I've got all my lionfish cut up except for one piece. I'll show you all how I do that. So I take it just like this and cut it in little slivers. I mean, you don't have to be exact with anything. Just start cutting it up. Bring your bowl over, but it's probably a cup and a half of fish. I'm saving these two big pieces right here because I want a lionfish sandwich tomorrow. So there's a thousand ways to make ceviche. Everybody's got their own way. I like to do mine like I like to do it. So I've got fresh strawberries, fresh limes, fresh lemons. I've got some mixed vegetables. It's actually tri pepper, so onions. And there, I could have cut all this stuff up, but who's got time for all that? All right, so when you get all your fish and your vegetables together, mix them up a little bit. Now, I don't want this lobster to cook all the way. I just wanted to get it real quick so I could get it out of this shell. And y'all about to see why. See how easy that... Now, look at it up close. It's still raw. It's still completely raw, just maybe lightly seared or lightly boiled. Take the lobster the same way, just start cutting it up. 
you want to try to get it all in equal size chunks. And I take the lobster, bam. I'm gonna cut up some strawberries. Yep. All right, so I cut up about a cup of strawberries. I'm sure a lot of y'all are saying, with strawberries, hey, this is my ceviche, not yours. Start squeezing some limes. If you got any cuts in your fingers, you'll know it. Like I got right now, that's burning. Some of these Meyer lemons, y'all see Robert cook. This is actually the first time I've ever used Meyer lemons. Now, for any of y'all that are wondering like how much of anything I'm using, a ceviche is whatever you want it to be. You just start dumping stuff in. So when you talk about measurements, I don't know, you just gotta put in what you think. Or watch me and try to duplicate it. The lime and the lemon is what cooks this fish. It doesn't necessarily cook it, but it kills all the bad bacteria in it and makes it oh so good. About like that. I got some fresh mango in the box, fresh. <laughs> I love mango. Put in about that much. Take a little bit of kosher salt. About that much. A little bit of black pepper. Now I know y'all are wondering, hey, why ain't he putting that garlic butter in there? Just don't go with this dish. You stir it up. That lemon and lime will just get in there and get in all them grooves and soak the mango juice, the strawberries will start soaking everything up and it's gonna be good. All right, anytime when you're adding these lemon and these limes, I want, come over here close. See how you can't see any juice? I want it to where you can just start seeing the juice a little bit. Hold your fingers like this and you'll catch any of the seeds. As I say, that one just squirted by me. You'll catch any of the seeds. Let the juice run through. I'm gonna do a little bit more lime. So I can start to see the juice. Now I know I got enough. Here, y'all smell this. You smell it? Oh, you can't smell it. What's it smell like, Mark? It smells like amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Samuel, what does it smell like? Amazing. Y'all, Mark's behind the camera. Y'all have seen him on the video before. His boy Samuel, who's friends with Jake's here. Jake's at his grandma's house. Luke's in there sleeping. And we're cooking. All right, come in here and get a close-up of this. Look at this. So this is the finished product. You see those juices in there? The good thing about this ceviche, if you're in the islands or somewhere and they're making ceviche, they're bringing in conch and cutting up onions and whatever and just throwing it in there. When you come in from the boat, a cool drink and a cup of ceviche is so refreshing. So I have strawberry, onions, peppers, lobster, lemon, lime, lionfish, a little bit of sea salt, some pepper, and just blend all that stuff up together. So the mango juice, it all mixes up and just creates like, man. And I know y'all are noticing this tank. In about three weeks, I got a creature coming for that tank that's gonna be a big part of my channel. Right now, we just have some fish in there to make sure that this tank is gonna go good and everything's fresh. Look at him, he's eating some lionfish too. All right, I'm gonna take the camera and let Mark dig in first. He's been patient, he's been helping me. Lionfish and lobster. Come on, Samuel. Magical. Don't be shy, too. Get you a big old scoop. That's amazing. Can you taste all the different flavors? Fantastic. Now, if this dish was cooked and you'd have cooked all that, you couldn't taste all those individual flavors together like you can that it's raw. The taste of that is life-changing. I'm telling you. Amazing. You guys, anytime you're cooking, you don't get a recipe book, don't get a cookbook. If you got something in your mind, you're walking through the grocery store and you're like, God, that looks good, that looks good. Even if it doesn't go together, get it, bring it home, throw it together. What's the worst thing in the world? You feed it to the dogs or the coons out back? Look, he's already digging back in. <laughs> Experiment, if you think something tastes good, it probably right. does. Bring it home and practice and cook and you might wanna change a little bit like this. What you don't see, because I gotta edit a lot of this out so this video is not 20 minutes long, 
I'll taste it and it needs this, that, that, uh, and I'll just keep going till I get it to where I want it. Right now it's where I want it and it is so good. Don't you think? Oh, off the chain, off the chain. Y'all look at that shirt he's got on. Gotta love us. Anyhow guys, we're out of here, we're done, we're tired. Tomorrow is the big day. Tomorrow's the day that I'm gonna go do the giant fish video tank diving. I'm not gonna give you any more details other than that, but right now, like I always say, every good story's gotta come to an end. Thanks for all the likes, all the shares, everything. Thanks for all the positivity, but we out of here.